great black bird swam round the market square and the loud calls harmonized with the beats of the talking drum singing the musical chaos of sorrow and joy anger and love it was the celebration of patch tradition and destruction of mother nature's son who with hands laced like a package was placed in the center of the stage was caged adorned with silver chains was made rich in death that we might remain poor and i heard the silent cries carried by the wind imprinting his tears a tattoo on my skin i shiver as his body quakes with its whip on his gleaming bronze skin he was eden birthing four river heads of tears sweat blood and piss a beautiful garden of ideologies whose treasures were uncomprehended by we mortal men and i remember Yes, I remember. I remember the clash of two worlds like it was yesterday. When the palm wine tap a sun, we dreams as high as the trees here climbed, stepped on our hearts with bare feet of freedom, biting the fingers that fed us to crumbs, defying the great Asho rock, reducing it to rumble with his voice, he opened sesame, the rocks that had clogged our eyes, and we saw. We saw, but alas, not all of us, that great chessboard played by the godfathers. We, mere pawns, having our lives traded and pawned, basic necessities for a meaningful existence just changed and destroyed. Our black faces losing its shine, licking the dust off the bottom of rich lettered feet until that youth with no name challenged the big names. But today at the market square, he died with no name killed by the very ones he had fought to set free so my african hero is that child of the soul who against all forces reacts with an equal and opposite voice setting in motion the third law of our freedom my african hero is a youth with no name